I'm Navy, this is Curly Cup Astrology and let's talk about April. I want to apologize because I was sick and I lost my voice and that's why this, these videos are late and also these videos are going to be a little bit more different than usual because they will be faster <laughs> because I'm afraid that I'm going to lose my voice again so we're going to talk a little bit faster so let's talk about the major transits um, happening during April and what we can expect and how uh, what we need to know basically so the month started with on the 3rd of April Mercury changed signs into Taurus um, this is the Mercury is uh, the planet of communication, uh, how we express ourselves, the way uh, we think and the way we communicate ourselves. So uh, changing to Taurus, our communication becomes um, practical, earthy, uh, sensual, patient and also a lot of patience when it comes to thinking about things and also about expressing ourselves. We may become slower with our thinking and our thought process, uh, even our studying and uh, all types of communicating, but that's because we are thinking think th things through and we are uh, more matter to fact uh, than imaginative and um, running through clouds and stuff like that. So we are more realistic, pragmatic. We are thinking about um, how we can do real change and practical change in our lives and how we can communicate this way. Also, Mercury in Taurus is a very romantic position for Mercury. It's a, uh, Mercury is the planet of communication. So this is a very sensual, romantic planet. It's a very... Um, uh, like very musical, very uh, film-like, book-like, you know, what you what you see in movies, what you um, listen to music. And it can be a very romantic transit. We can use our words beautifully and we can express ourselves very romantically and even musically. Our voices become more pleasant, become... Uh, become a tool. Our voices and our communication, our words become tools how we express ourselves. It matters. And I forgot to say, <laughs> I forgot to tell you that we are in Aries season. Of course, um, it's a very fast, until the 20th of April, we are in uh, Aries season. It's a very fast pace, very quick, um, very progress inspired and motivated season. It's a time of huge progress. It's time of um, a lot of pushing, a lot of um, productivity, motivation, hustle even. It's, it's a very high energy season. And we are into this season until the 20th of April. So happy birthday to all Aries and let's talk about the next thing that's happening during April. On the 5th of April, we have a full moon in Libra. This is an important, uh, this is an important time during the month because this full moon impacts different zodiac signs in different ways. So it's a time of huge release, a time of completion, a time of balance. Libra is connected with law and balance and harmony. So this is where we are seeking balance and harmony and releasing and finishing projects and finishing um, themes of our lives that we have conquered. Uh, then on the 10th of April, we have Venus entering Gemini. So this is, uh, this can become a lot of fun. Venus is the planet of love and romance. Uh, Venus is playful and romantic and sensual and going into Gemini very quick, very uh, flexible, very um, changeable uh, air sign, Gemini. So this can become, this can translate directly into our love becomes very quick, changeable. Um, our love, Gemini is an intellectual air sign, intellectual sign. So our love can become intellectual. Our love can become uh, love on the brain. <laughs> it can become love on the brain. We um, 
we are impressed with words, we are impressed with intellect, we are impressed with sm the smart people, and we want to impress people with how smart we are and how, mu how much knowledge we have and stuff like that. So this is important to us, um, even if it's not something that we value every every day of our lives during this transit it's important the the smart people we we see them with new eyes and we want to appear smart to people also um this may be a period of time where a person can date a few people uh, because gemini is a very changeable and very um adaptable sign this may mean that Dating is fun, dating is quick, it's easy, it's changeable, it's um, uh, high-paced, it's um, fast-paced. Um, and so it's a lot of, uh, we're meeting new people, we're liking a lot of new people, and uh, they like us. So it's this um, very light and airy uh, type of love and, and dating and romance. Something very important that is happening on the 19th of April. We have a new moon in Aries and on the same day we have uh, an eclipse in Aries. So this is a, a huge deal. Um, in, in, uh, during April, uh, it's, an amazing, it's an amazing thing that is happening and it will, uh, it will impact all of us. So the new, moon, the new moon and eclipse in Aries, it's a very interesting time because we have a full moon in Libra on the 5th of April and then on the 19th we have this eclipse in the opposite sign of Libra um, in Aries. So where on the 5th of April we are seeking balance and harmony and even is connected to law, because Libra is connected to law, um, during the 19th of April, uh, or around 19th of, of April, with this uh, eclipse in Aries, here we are focused on ourselves, on ourself. What, how do I want to grow? How do I want to transform? What do I have to do to get where I want to be, what I want to have, how I want to look, how I want to, to sound, how I want to translate to people, everything connected to self, it's given a new start, a refresher, a transformation. Um, we may see how we have to transform ourselves and we have to, and it's all connected with ourselves, not not um, not how we imagine ourselves being, not what anybody else, anybody else is saying about us. It's about what we would like to transform um, and how we would like to start, start new, start fresh, transform ourselves and the way we look. Um, the 20th of April, as I said, sun entering Taurus, Taurus season is beginning. Happy birthday to all Tauruses. Happy birthday to all of you. Uh, we are ending the fast pace area season uh, and we are beginning the Taurus, Taurus season from the 20th April on. This is a very fun time. It's a time for hard work, but also relaxation. This is slowing down uh, because Taurus prefers a slower pace, uh, a chill pace, <laughs> you know, a chill energy and environment. So this is actually a period of um, being practical and pragmatic, being materialistic, even um, to the extreme maybe, uh, oh, but focusing on the, the earthy, the earthy things, the practical things, uh, finances, home, um, Clothes, everything connected with what can what I can buy with my money, uh, investments, savings, a lot of money management, a lot of um, uh, also ha uh, uh, talent management and finding your own talents and and uh, how to manage them so that they can bring me uh, they can bring me something in my life. Um, so this is this becomes a very uh, 
practical home renovation um, let's um, let's let's treat ourselves so that we feel better and we feel the best that we can uh, this is a time where a lot of spring renovation around the house spring cleaning spring renovations uh, even with ourselves and how we look and how we how we uh, feel to ourselves uh, it's also uh, a lot uh, time of a lot of hard work and um, hard parting after because Taurus likes to reward it, uh, themselves um, with everything that is the finer things in life. So the simple things, the beautiful things, um, the beautiful chill energy. So it's a, it's a period of time uh, that cherishes the beauty in everyday things. Then, from the 21st of April until the 14th of May, Mercury in Taurus turns retrograde. <laughs> Congratulations to everybody, Mercury in retrograde. Uh, all fun. <laughs> so, um, from the 21st of April until the 14th of May, uh, we have a retrograde Mercury. Um, a lot of instability in a lot of matters. Mercury in Taurus usually really dislikes change. Uh, Taurus hates, hates change. So Mercury in Taurus retrograde uh, may mean that there is a lot of instability and a lot of change, major changes in all of areas of life so that it disrupt, disrupt, disrupts the thought process, the, 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 the way of life for Mercury in Taurus with this retrograde. Uh, it's also a period of a lot of mis miscommunication, a lot of uh, misunderstandings. We just talk different languages to each other and we are kind of lost in translation. Um, so whatever my advice, my personal advice, uh, would be whatever important we have to do to postpone it until the 14th of May, even maybe like a week after, like the 20th of May or something. Important contracts that we have to sign, important dealings, important... Um, just read everything twice or even three times. Uh, consult more than one person who <laughs> can sort of more than one uh, expert don't believe the first thing that you hear don't believe the first thing that you read um, re uh, proofread everything and just a lot of little mistakes and little happenings <laughs> may happen to us during mercury retrograde and it's annoying and it's slowing down and it's and it's annoying to us uh, but it's it's all for the better because we have to we have to we have to stop a little bit and we have to focus and we have to a lot of the times we have to read again because there is something in a small text there is something in like we're not ready we want to be ready but we're not ready and mercury retrograde retrograde comes here and asks us asks us to look at it again and yes it's annoying uh, it slows down a lot of things. It it makes little errors and mistakes that are very irritating to us. Um, and especially, we may have we may have um, reputations of um, not being able to handle our jobs or our lives or our whatever. But uh, we have to really go back and proofread everything that we are connected to. Just be very careful. Also, something that I wanted to remind everybody, also me, uh, that um, already we have, a, uh, we have a, a few planets that have already, that are very important, and that have already changed signs. Saturn is uh, in Pisces already, Pluto is in Aquarius, and Mars is in Cancer. This is important because Mars has been in Gemini for months, for months. And 
Mars usually does not stay in one sign for a lot of time. In this time, it was Mars was in Cancer for months. So, be, having Mars in different sign, having Mars in Cancer is actually a huge energy shift for a lot of people and a lot of a lot of uh, feeling of freshness and new starts and new beginnings and a new focus. We are focusing from one thing to another. So April was a lot of um, changes and a lot of productive energy around. So let's talk about each sign before I lose my voice. Thank you for being with me and have a great season.